富布莱特项目是美国国务院协调的一项托付盛名的国际项目。一些参与者才刚完成几星期的工作，就被告知项目因为新冠病毒大流行病而即将结束。I have four brothers. My mom downsized because we all are old and moved out, and then now to have to come home and live in her tiny like retirement home, like there, there's no space for us. 但有些人由于不幸的个人情况，可以留在国外。I, um, I have, uh, don't have a great relationship with my family back home. It's not really a great place to be. Um, so, kind of honestly, through through tears over the phone with somebody at the embassy and like the people here,、uh, I was like, I. Like mental health wise, this is a much better place for me to be than going back home. 然而，国务院在三月份取消了这个项目。对大多数参与者来说，提早结束了大约八个月。有些富布莱特学者不得不急匆匆地赶飞机回家。有些人还巴不得自己能更早离开。I am a little bit disappointed with the State Department because I think they waited too long, so that, and especially for Fulbright, that. You know, we had to fly home through Europe,、um, and so that was that was late for that. You know, things had already blown up in Italy, and I was pretty uncomfortable. 教育和文化事务局发言人给美国之音的一个电子邮件说，从二月二十八日起，该局一再敦促并提供协助给美国的富布莱特参与者从海外回国。但许多富布莱特学者说，三月初以前，他们并没有收到要他们考虑离开的信息。他们还说，后来几星期充满了极具变化的指示和恐慌。March 11th, we get a text or an email that saying, "Hey, we we pretty much recommend that you don't travel for for spring break." But then two days later, they sent another message that was like, "We strongly encourage you to get out of the country now." So the mood just changed really, really, really fast. 参与项目者现在被视为校友，而且将获得富布莱特的头衔，以及到六月底的津贴。但富布莱特学者表示，除了找新家和辅助收入外，他们最失望的是无法完成项目。It's much more important to, for me to have the experience and like actually do the research and、um, make great connections with the people here than it is to. Right, Fulbright alumni on my resume. But other Fulbright researchers say they are not to blame the organizers or the government. You know, it's a pandemic. Everything changed, and so I give a lot of breaks to, you know, everybody. A decision had to be made. 无论他们要在美国找工作，还是留在他们寄居的国家，富布莱特学者都不得不改变他们在今年底以前的事业计划。美国之音萨拉伊华盛顿报道。Okay.